This statement is made in the interests of transparency and accountability to explain the decisions reached in respect of allegations that Rebecca Brooks and her husband Charles Brooks conspired together with others to pervert the course of justice. The Crown Prosecution Service received a file of evidence from the Metropolitan Police Service on the 27th of March 2012 in relation to seven suspects. Rebecca Brooks, Charles Brooks, Cheryl Carter, Mrs. Brooks' then personal assistant, Mark Hanna, Head of Security at News International, Paul Edwards, Mrs. Brooks' chauffeur who was employed by News International, Daryl Jorsling and a seventh suspect, both of whom provided security for Mrs. Brooks, supplied by News International. All the evidence has now carefully been considered. Applying the two-stage test in the Code for Crown Prosecutors, I have concluded that in relation to all suspects except the seventh, there is sufficient evidence for there to be a realistic prospect of, conclusion, of conviction. I then considered the second stage of the test, and I have concluded that a prosecution is required in the public interest in relation to each of the other six. All seven suspects have this morning been informed of my decisions. They are all due to answer their bail at police stations later today. When they do so, they will be charged as follows. Charge 1. Conspiracy to pervert the course of justice. Rebecca Brooks, between the 6th of July and the 19th of July 2011, conspired with Charles Brooks, Cheryl Carter, Mark Hanna, Paul Edwards, Darrell Jorsling and persons unknown to conceal material from officers of the Metropolitan Police Service. Charge 2, also conspiracy to pervert the course of justice. Rebecca Brooks and Cheryl Carter, between the 6th of July and the 9th of July 2011, conspired together permanently to remove seven boxes of material from the archive of News International. Charge 3, a further charge of conspiracy to pervert the course of justice. Rebecca Brooks, Charles Brooks, Mark Hanna, Paul Edwards and Daryl Jorsling conspired together and with persons unknown between the 15th of July and the 19th of July 2011 to conceal documents, computers and other electronic equipment from officers of the Metropolitan Police Service. All these matters relate to the ongoing police investigation into allegations of phone hacking and corruption of public officials in relation to the News of the World and the Sun newspapers. Following charge, these individuals will appear before Westminster magistrates on a date to be determined. No further action will be taken against the seventh suspect. May I remind all concerned that these six individuals will now be charged with criminal offences and that each has a right to a fair trial. It is very important that nothing is said or reported which could prejudice that trial and for these reasons it would be inappropriate for me to comment further.